finally a bit of good news in the world of medicine where I feel we are currently being beat down daily. We recognize in gynecology that people don't like coming to see us. They don't like getting a speculum exam to get their pap smear. And for that reason, many people just don't come get them. And because people don't get their screenings, we have about 13,000 cases of invasive cervical cancer every year. So many countries are already doing this where patients can self-collect their HPV test. The American Cancer Society is telling us now is the guidelines for self-collected specimens testing for HPV. The recommendations here are that for primary HPV screening, it's still preferred that a clinician is collecting that specimen, but self-collection is an acceptable alternative. Now we currently have two options in the United States for this. One is a type of swab that you do yourself in the doctor's office, and the other one is a private company that will send you a swab so you can swab yourself at home. Now this is for patients of average risk between the ages of 25 to 65. And then if that test was negative, it's recommended to repeat that in three years. We're gonna see a lot more of this discussion about HPV testing versus pap smear testing, doctor collected versus patient collected, and I see this as a positive thing. Cervical cancer screening has changed a lot in the last 20 to 25 years. We used to do just pap smears every single year. Then we changed to co-testing where we do the, both the cells and the virus. And now a lot of it is leaning more towards just testing for the virus. And I see this as a positive because it means that we're doing more research, we're getting more information and making better choices for our patients. And if you take one thing away from this video, I hope it's that if your cervical cancer screening is due, please call your doctor to make an appointment. It could truly save your life.